Hello guys, our magic number for today is 182,000. That's the number of bifocal solar panels imported from China that were used to build Zambia's latest utility scale electricity Chisamba solar power project. This project would have needed 364,000 solar panels if they were only one-sided. But now, if you think that this number is mind-boggling, then Chinese energy diplomacy, which facilitated the construction of the 100 megawatt project, could have you in a spin. For context, if this project was in the US, the power could have been enough to power 22,000 homes, but in Zambia, it can power more than 10 times that number. But back to the Chinese energy diplomacy in this project. In a potentially new approach to securing building contracts, Power China, a Fortune 500 listed company, started building the Zambian project even before the funding was released. Now, this is rarely heard of in Africa's big build projects by different overseas companies. But Power China's move is especially interesting in that the project was not Chinese funded, which could have offered some confidence that no matter what, the money would have come. Imagine if the funds never came and the project was already done. <laughs> would it have been a deeper call? For Zambians, though, the project comes at a time when the country is facing 17-hour daily power outages. The main off-taker is First Quantum Minerals, a mining company in Zambia where the Chinese have a stake. And by taking Chisamba's power, the mine will free up the imported capacity from South Africa and Mozambique for Zambian consumers. And since Zesco couldn't finance this project because its balance sheet was drowning in debt, African Green Corps, which is a power trader, promised to buy the electricity and because it guaranteed the debt to build the project, then the mine was its best bet for returns. And copper mines account for 70% of Zambia's exports. The mine is crucial as an energy buyer, as it is a reliable consumer for the guarantor, which ensures that the company recoups its investment in the project. Now, if you're wondering why Zambia couldn't secure loans for Chisamba, it's because the IMF froze guarantees for Zambia and uh, Zesco was overexposed to banks. This is why no Western firm would take that risk, unlike Power China. Beyond these contracts, the building contracts, the question that remains is when Africa will control its energy destiny. Zambia now mandates a 30% local ownership in projects like Chisamba, but African engineers and companies will need more than skills to secure such projects. And remember, there is technology, there is also the funding that is needed when bidding for such projects, and also the expertise. But to build this, it is time for African countries like Zambia to help build the profiles of homegrown companies to compete for contracts with the likes of Power China effectively. However, before this becomes a reality, China is playing the long game. Imagine what happened with that diplomacy. And African countries must decide how they will partner with these Chinese not only to build, but also to transfer skills. Chisamba is an interest project to look at and to discuss and to see as the energy financing by Chinese changes shape across the global south. My name is Njenga Hakina and I hope to see you again soon.